Hey, what's happening guys? This is going to be the second video in our Classic Circuits You Should Know series. And this one is the A-Stable Multivibrator. Sometimes I like to call it the Impossible Blinker. Sometimes I can even spell. So if you look here, it's really pretty simple. We just have a couple of LEDs being switched on the low side by transistors through the charging and the discharging of capacitors. So if we just take a second and we draw the circuit, we have four resistors, um, R1, R2, R3, R4. R1 and R4 are 1K. R2 and R3 are 470K. And then we have two capacitors in between them. C2, C1, and they are 4.7 microfarad each. Alright, are you with me so far? Now, from these outer resistors, we go to our LEDs. From our LEDs, we go to the collector of our transistors. In this case, they are 2N2222s. And the emitters just go to ground. Pretty simple, right? Well, here's where it gets just a little bit interesting. From this point here on the second resistor, R2, where it connects to the capacitor, we will connect it to the base of our second resistor. I should have flipped that over here, but you get the idea. There's no connection there. They are simply crisscrossed this is our VCC up here, and in my case, it's simply 5 volt DC. But what we're seeing is an oscillation there. Let me turn it off, turn it back on. Let me do it again, and turn it back on. Okay, do you notice something a little bit odd there? I'm going to turn it off one more time and I want you to watch as this one starts up first, but just a quick flash. And then they settle down into this simple pattern. So what's going on? Well, let's examine the circuit. So let's start on this side. We have these two points both drawing power from VCC then we have this capacitor here in between them. So if we follow this path here to ground through the 1K resistor, through the LED, to the collector of the 2N2222 transistor, but without the base turned on, there's no path to ground. So that charges up this capacitor here. And when it reaches about 0.6 volts, it's going to trigger the base on this transistor and it's going to light up this LED. When that capacitor finishes discharging, the opposite is going to happen and this one is going to light up. So, in theory, they should both just come on and stay on, right? Or both turn on and go off at the same time. Why are they alternating 
why are they oscillating in this very smooth pattern? Do you know? Anyone? Well, it comes down to this, manufacturing tolerances. Let me bring in a component tester. All right, I'm going to shut off the power to the circuit. And let's check these two blue resistors here, the 470K resistors. They are what is controlling the charge of that capacitor. So here is our left one. And we'll put it in our component tester. And remember, it's supposed to be 470 kilo ohms. And it is not in there well enough. Try it again. And it is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on. One last try. It's going to work this time. I got a good feeling. 473.4. So let's write that over here. 473.4K. All right, I will put that back into the circuit. And we'll check the right one. Wonder how many tries this one will take. Dum -ba -bum -bum. 468.5. So, one is slightly larger in value than the other, like I said, because of manufacturing tolerances. So its capacitor, this one, is that right? 468, 473, charges first. So we get that initial little blip, and then this light comes on first, and then our circuit goes into oscillation. Pretty cool. Now, we can control the uh, time on, the charging time, by changing the value of these resistors. These are, what what I say, 470 kilo ohm nominally. Well, here's a couple of 100K. So if I take those out and I put these in, they should it should oscillate four times as fast. Oh, now they both appear to be staying on, but is that really the truth? Are they both staying on? Or are we just into a different level here? So let's let's check here and swing up let me hit the auto on here. And what do we get? Hello, McFly. Did I just crash my oscilloscope? No. There we go. What's our frequency? Two, about, come on. Play nice. Play nice, let's go. Give me a frequency. A reasonable one. No? Doesn't want to play nice. But basically what's happening is it's simply gone too fast. To see so we'll put these back in anyway what I was trying to say is you can control the frequency by changing the value of these resistors and in theory you could change the duty cycle how long they're on or off by changing the capacitors because the charge time of the capacitor is how long those will stay on or the discharge time rather Whoops.
I swung back down there and forgot to swing you with me. But it's late on a Sunday night, so you will have to forgive me. Anyway, that's the A-Stable multi-vibrator. And the only reason it works is because nothing is perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.